I'm Dr. Marie Gould Harper, the Interim Dean for the School of Business. I'm excited because today we're here at the National Harbor celebrating many different things and um, one of the things that I would like to do is to talk to a graduate from the university um, from the School of Global and Security Studies. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, what was the best thing about being in the program and, and what has the university done for you? Well the university supplied me with great resources, great professors that were uh, they're almost a, a, you know, a text, a call, email away. It was always okay. in a timely manner. If I ever need anything, it was, it was always answered. And um, just, I, I was given the best tools to succeed. Okay, great, great. And the, that's the type of stuff we like to hear, that we've provided the necessary tools. But in addition to that, um, we always look at what other types of support that you received while you were working on your degree. And um, one of the things that we like to talk to is about the family involvement. Um, who are the most influential people in your life in terms of support? Most influential, the two next to me. Um, okay. My mom being you know, the biggest supporter my whole life, always being the, the best coach I've ever had. Um, also my dad, who is also a faculty member okay. he, of the university, he, he definitely helped me with um, papers and asked me about different resources. And he was just a, a big influential person for um, me as well as to see he's been so successful and my mother's been so successful. So that okay. was a big driving factor in me. Um, leading up to my master's graduation. Okay, great, great. And now looking at Team Jesus, <laughs> you look like the proud mom. Um, what, what does this moment mean to you of having your son achieve something so spectacular? Um, it, it's, uh, it's extraordinary. Okay, great. Uh, being so young and being able to achieve something like this at such a young age, I know that there's a lot of opportunities out there for him now uh -huh. um, with having you know, a graduate degree. Right, great. Was there any moment that you felt like, how can I help my son? What do I need to do? Most definitely. You know, I, I still see him as a little boy, so I wanted to call him and ask him, what's your homework about? What's this? What's that? Uh, but I knew that allowing him to grow and to be responsible of his own, uh, you know, homework assignments or anything like that. But he knows that we're always here for him. So if he had any questions, he picked up the phone and gave us a call. Oh, great, great. Um, knowing mom is there to be able to answer something, I'm sure that was uh, an asset. Um, Juan, I'm, I'm proud for you. You've been an excellent instructor in the School of Business. And how was that to go across another school and to be able to help your son um, in the area of academics by you being an instructor um, at a university? Well, you know, it's, uh, education came late in my life, and uh, I didn't start earning my degrees till in my 30s, and right. so did uh, Linda. <clears throat> and uh, since I've been an education pusher in my family, right. that's what I call myself, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was great for me to be able to help him out, but all I do was guide him. Mm -hmm. uh, we sent him to Texas State for his undergrad, okay. and once he graduated, we had him to make the decision of, what grad school are you going to go to? A lot of you know our research, but me being part of the university, I said we have an excellent curriculum, excellent instructors, and you can get a head start on your life because you're going to do this online. And you know he wanted to take a break, right. but I said no, there's no break here. You're <laughs> you're going to go ahead and just finish it finish out. It. He moved to Austin and uh, he completed his degree over there by himself, actually with uh, minimal guidance from me, outside of. Um, you know, hey, Dad, what do you think about this? I said, hey, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Okay, great. Now, your dad has said something important. It was like basically when you started, he set the foundation, but then you moved away and was on your own. How did you feel about the support in terms of you were no longer physically present with them, but you were still pursuing your degree? Uh, with social media and, and the new technology we have now, I, they were only a FaceTime call away. So they would okay, always, great. we'd always be in contact with each other. And it was, it was almost every morning I would, you know, call my mom and, or my dad and I'd say, you know, hey guys, how's it going? And they asked me, of course, where's your homework? You know, when is it due? You know, get on it. Um, so it was always as if they were, they, they were physically gone, but I always felt the love and the support um, right. every day, every single, you know, waking moment. Right, that they were still present. Yep. Okay, great. Um, Jesus brought up a point that I wanted to stress. Um, the university has been making strides and efforts into ensuring that we were technology-based. Um, we have the online platform, but we also wanted to make sure we had tools in the classroom that promoted the use of technology. Um, you benefited from that by being in Austin and using those type of sources 
to get your degree done. One, from your approach, being an instructor and now being required to use a lot of that, how do you feel about technology being integrated in the classrooms? You know, I think in today's environment, we're really hitting the target for our, our target audience that, you know, the millennials and, and the folks right. who really depend on technology. And we have a great library. We have great tools. Our, our LMS is, is, you know, second to none. And it's really uh, gives you that humanistic interaction with the student. And I think that that helped them out. And plus, the, the instructors now are, um, like you said, they're, they're social media savvy. They, are, they use all kinds of tools that are provided by the university in order to make both uh, experiences a, a good one. A good one, great, okay. Anything else that you would like to add about your experience, either academically or with your parents? in this process? Academically, uh, I'm still sitting on the fence if I want to pursue that doctor's degree. And, I, okay. and if I, if I, there was one pushing, you know, big, biggest factor that I was um, gonna select for uh, choosing for my doctorates, it'd be that I had, there are great professors here, there's a great support system, not only for my parents, but from uh, across the university. Okay, great. And for my and parents, I know they would help me out every step of the way and they, they would, without a shadow of a doubt, they would help me out. Yes, and um, it, just so happens our first doctoral program is in your area of study so I'm sure we have something in place for you but I understand take your time and whenever you're ready we'll be here awesome. and mom and dad anything you want to add? Just super proud. I super mean, proud. I, super proud at such a young age you know he finished his master's degree at 22 I couldn't even dream of that at 22 and uh -huh. today's with uh, you know he, he, he was able to carry, start his life and study at the same time and I'm just super proud and of the resiliency and the effort that he made uh, to accomplish this. Okay, great. Well, thank all of you for stopping by and just sharing your stories and your experiences. And um, it makes me proud to see that you decided to come to the university and also it was a successful experience for you. And not only from you being the, uh, a graduate, but from the parents watching, you know, one of their kids just go out and do, accomplish all of his dreams. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.